What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to solve the problem when your monitor is not being detected on your Windows 11 PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. External monitor issues usually occur because of incorrect system settings, outdated graphics or display drivers, or because of faulty hardware and wrong cables. First, we will take a look at your display settings. Right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. In your Display Settings, scroll down and expand the Multiple Displays options. Click Detect to detect other displays connected to your Windows PC. Below, you have the option to connect a wireless display. While trying to detect your external monitor, make sure that you're using the correct cable. Change the HDMI slot if you can and connect it to your motherboard or graphics card to see where this problem is coming from. You should also ensure that your monitor is plugged in and turned on before trying to detect it. If the monitor problem persists, then make sure that your drivers are up to date. While in your Windows settings, navigate to the Windows Update tab. Here, click on Check for Updates and download the latest Windows update before restarting your PC. This will download the latest drivers and make sure that your PC's processors have restarted, which can help fix this problem. Next, open up your Device Manager. On this window, right-click the monitors and select Scan for hardware changes. This will take a moment to scan your connections for any additional monitors. If your monitor is showing up in this list, then right-click it and select Update Driver. On the next window, click on Search automatically for drivers. To update your graphics card, it's suggested to use the dedicated software. NVIDIA GPU users can make use of the GeForce Experience application, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers section, download the latest GPU driver update before installing it. This can help fix a number of display and monitor-related problems on your PC. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.